Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to put this motor on this Mango mini bike here. Shea Bear, the myth, man, legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys. Ah, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to <clears throat> bolt this up. Spray something in the carburetor and see if it runs. It should. And if it runs, then we'll hook some fuel line up to it and see what that carburetor's doing. Because he said it needs a carburetor, so I don't know if it's flooding out. He didn't really say. I have checked the oil in it. It's full of oil. So, and I do know this engine was running not long ago. So, let's see if we can build a fire in this thing. Cue the intro. So, done some checking on this bike, and I don't think this is the original engine for this bike. He said it was the original, but I don't know if he meant that's what originally came on it when he got it, or if it's the original motor, because a lot of them I've seen had engines like this. Usually a Tecumseh, or maybe even a Briggs. These two are Briggs and Stratton's. Now... These engines were given to me, these four. I've got three Briggs and Strantons, and I've got a Wisconsin Robin engine there. That's supposed to be a racing engine. This engine came with the bike. I bought the bike for 50 bucks. Um, every one of these engines, except for that one, <laughs> have the uh, governors unhooked. All of them, even this one, it's unhooked. They're not, the governor's not removed, it's just bypassed. They're just, it's just unhooked. Um, so, I'm gonna find some bolts. We'll get put in here so we can bolt this down and make sure it's not gonna, you know, shake off of there. Uh, but I do remember seeing them ride this past the house a couple times. You know, I couldn't tell you what engine was on it. Now, this thing is mechanically incorrect in my book because look at this. Here's the brake. We'll go over the brakes here in a minute. There's the kickstand. Should be flipped. <laughs> Every bike I've ever ridden had the brake on this side and the kickstand on that side. That bothers me. I don't. I, I. I. don't like that. Also, these brakes, they were just called scrub brakes. When you push this down, right there, that flap would just rub on the on the tire, and that's what that's what would slow you down. So, needless to say, if your tire was wet, your brakes didn't work very well. <laughs> so, tires are in in good shape on this thing overall the bike's in pretty good condition um, <clears throat> I have a Honda motor out back which is the equivalent of a 212 Predator which in fact 212 Predator parts pistons rods and everything like that rings will fit in that motor but it is a Honda motor now 
if I was going to keep this bike, I would probably rebuild that that engine <clears throat> and put a uh, torque converter on it. But I'm not going to keep it, so I got to keep my costs down. So we want to make sure it's going to run, it's not going to knock, it's not going to smoke, and all that. Uh, and if the motor seems all right fine we'll keep that motor on i'll order a throttle cable either way i got to get the throttle set up uh if not like this engine here would be a good engine to put on it i'm thinking that's uh probably a five horse maybe three and a half uh this is a 79 cc which is the equivalent of a three horsepower so let me get some bolts Let's put a couple bolts in here so, you know, we can we can pull on it and try to start it, um, but Yeah, I, I just don't like the way that's set up. It's It's backwards <laughs> You can get um, conversion kits. Well, not really conversion. I mean, it's it's an upgrade that bolts on there where the bolts are like a spacer in there and then you can put disc brakes on this thing and you could run hydraulic brakes on it uh, if I was going to keep it that's what I would do but I'm not going to keep it for the money sure I'd get a little more money out of it with it being upgraded and a bigger engine and stuff but would, would it pay for my time and costs of doing all that stuff um, you know, if it's going to get me another hundred dollars out of it, does it constitute me putting a hundred dollars in it? Not really, not really, you know, because then I got my time, so yeah, I think it was colorful. All right, let me get some bolts, we'll get it secured on there so we can try to start it. If it does start and run good, maybe we'll try to hook up some kind of throttle. Maybe a brake lever off a bicycle or something. And we'll see what it does. But the first things first, we need to make sure it runs. Then, if it runs, then we'll see what's going on with the carburetor. Uh, carburetors aren't bad. I don't mind buying a carburetor for it. They're like 12, 15 bucks. You know, not a big deal. Uh, this is $11. I want to keep my cost down, you know, to around 50 bucks because I want to be able to turn $200 on this which I think I can pretty easy so alright let's get some bolts uh, there's what I know about the bike I'm still not sure what year it is but let's get some bolts mount that engine down okay so I got some bolts here we're gonna get these put in I'm not gonna put the chain on right now because if this thing fires up wide open or something I don't I don't want it taken off on me so we're just going to We're just going to bolt this down real quick. Like I said, if it runs good, we may try to put the chain on it and take the first spin, but that's getting a little ahead of ourselves right now. Right now, let's just see if it'll run, start and run. Cuz like I said, he said it needs a carburetor, so we got to find out what's going on with it. So let me get the other two bolts in here. We'll get them tightened down. And while I'm doing that, I'll get some gas. Just in case. And, uh. Because if it does run, we'll put some gas in it and see, see what's going on with the, uh. The carburetor. That's strange. Supposed to be a couple set screws in here. And there's not any. And there should be a bolt in here. And there's not. Okay. That's later on stuff. Let's see if this thing will run. Let me get it bolted down. Alright guys. Haven't checked it for spark or anything. Already sprayed that. <laughs> Good way to flood it. All right, let's uh, let's just send it. 
I shot a good healthy amount up in there, so. gas over there I took out the Corvette let's see if we can find a fuel line that will fit on there and uh, let's pour some fuel in it and see what happens to the carburetor all right so I put some fuel in it and uh, turned the fuel on and I think it's leaking right around that bowl gasket let's turn the fuel back on and see it didn't look like it was coming out of the carburetor. See? It looks like it's running down the side of the bowl. Uh, let me pull that off of there. And let's check that out. Someone's put this in here. This thing is huge. And they put some sealer around there. So that's going to need something done probably. But let me get that bowl off of there. Alright guys. So there's supposed to be an O-ring in here. Maybe even a small gasket. There wasn't one. So, what I'm going to do for now, like I said, we got to see how this engine runs. If it runs all right, if the carburetor's okay, then I'll get an O-ring for that. It's going to need a gasket here so it doesn't suck air. That'd be a big vacuum leak. It won't run right. I'm going to make one out of this cardboard box here. That should work to do with what we got to do with it for testing purposes it is by no means this will not be a temporarily permanent fix this is actually a temporary fix because that will probably start leaking but right now we got to get it to at least slow down so we can see what's going on enough to run it let it get some heat in it and uh, see if the engine knocks or anything after it's warmed up it shouldn't it sounded pretty good so let's um i'm not gonna bore you with that i'm just gonna trace around this i'm gonna cut it out and uh we'll put a make us a little gasket it should work i i should keep some o-rings around that size because a lot of times i need them things they're very common i should keep an assortment of those and some gasket making material material it's not expensive stuff then i can make any gaskets i need to make you know just have that stuff on hand and then it would be a permanent fix but for right now let's see what we can do with this all right guys i got me a gasket made <coughs> let's see if it'll run there is some fuel coming out of the carburetor so I don't know if it just needs cleaned if it even be worth cleaning for the price I can get a carburetor I'm going to check into a carburetor and see about that and um, 
kind of, but it's running best with the choke closed. So it's starting for fuel until you shut it off and then it looks like, but I know I did check the, uh, the float and it's working fine. So I don't know what that's all about. If it's just sucking too much fuel in when you shut it off. I don't know. Uh, let me dig around for some stuff. I'm going to see if uh, we can maybe take that thing on a little test drive. Okay, guys, so I rigged up a throttle with this old brake cable. And uh, it does leak some fuel out of the carburetor after it sets for a little bit. But I've got it hooked up to the governor, so... I don't have chain on it yet. That's next. All right. I got to put an end on that piece of wire up there but you get the idea and then I'll put the chain on we'll see if it'll if it'll move us okay guys so I took that for a quick spin and uh, you know it's not running wide open and the choke has to be like halfway closed for it to run right well halfway right and uh, of course it's not running wide open it's barely coming off an idle and I'm gonna tell you what that thing went when I get everything straightened out on it, the carburetor straightened out and a regular throttle, that thing's going to fly, man. So let me get my other camera. I'll put you on my chest, and we'll take it for a little rip. Well, not much of a rip, but let's take it for a ride.
I'm not sure what that thing does, but it's not supposed to be there, I don't think. I think I'll just get a new carburetor. Yeah, this is barely, barely opening up throttle. Oh crap, I'm out of gas. <laughs> Shoot. Alright. Let's go get some gas. I forgot I just put a little bit in it. Very little. <laughs> Let's try this again. Things weird. The seat's moving because of them springs. I'll show you when we get back what I'm talking about. Yeah, this thing will fly once it gets running right.
All right, cool. Well, we know it runs. I'm gonna switch back to my other camera. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about here. See that? That makes it very hard to control. Maybe try to tighten it up a whole bunch. See if that'll help it. All right, guys, there she is, she runs. And it's gonna run good. Uh, there's no knocks, it doesn't smoke, so yeah. That's gonna be awesome. That that thing's gonna fly. They used when they come out of the factory they had a bigger a bigger sprocket on the back. I'm not sure what that one is, maybe a 60. I think that is 78 tooth or something. Anyway, yeah, that thing. I mean, you know, it was pulling us up this hill on its own and it was just above an idle even though the throttle was wide open so I'm gonna look into I'm gonna look into a carburetor see if I can get any numbers off that one and a throttle a regular twist grip yeah awesome so there it is guys it's running I'll do some more videos on this as we go along and then once it's running good you know I want it to be safe and uh, reliable you know in case someone buys it for their kid don't want anyone getting hurt so and don't want them to have to go around yeah work on it every time you run it for 20 minutes i don't want that to happen so uh then we'll clean it up and everything before we put it for sale so yeah i'm gonna order a couple parts and then i'll see you guys in the next one we'll uh try to get some of these other ones running down here see what they run like so yeah, that thing seems like it's got a lot of power for 79cc. I mean, that thing just... Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care. Pretty cool.